What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we have another mail day video. Now in today's video a bunch of the mail that's going to be opened up was actually just sitting around and I don't even remember what was in the mail and what's what if that makes sense. So I just have a stack of mail that I'm like I don't know what I ordered, I don't know what's in here and uh, yeah so we're going to be opening it up in today's video. If you guys do enjoy it, though make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. We're really close to 5,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can make it happen. Happy New Year, by the way. It's still kind of early. I have a lot of videos planned for the year. I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say. I don't want to keep you guys for too long. But if you guys want to check out my social medias, links will be in the description below. And with that, on to the video. Okay, so to be honest, I actually have no idea what's what. I don't even know if this is Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, maybe even Digimon. I actually have no idea what I ordered. It's just a bunch of stuff that's been piling up. And I was like, you know what? I should probably open this up for our mail day. And for anyone who's wondering, is there going to be an update to the uh, to the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX binder? There will be an update, I promise. Right as soon as this video is done, I'll probably be updating that so you guys can check that out because I know it's been like half a year and uh, yeah, it definitely deserves an update. So let's get into our first piece of mail here. Um, I don't remember what anything is. I don't know what I ordered. So here's a little thing, Mary Corporation, thank you. This is from a Japanese seller, actually. I remember this. Uh, I remember the seller. I don't remember what I got though. Okay, what did I get here? Okay, so... Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I remember the. Okay, I remember I bought, why I bought this. Okay, so, wait. Does this go sideways? You guys, have you guys ever seen top loaders that open sideways? What? Okay, too many things are going on right now. Okay, so in Japan, they have these like Hobby League rarities. And so this is like a Hobby League kind of rarity for a uh, Flame Wingman. I saw this and I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. And the reason I mostly bought it was because when I saw it, the seller had sent me pictures. Okay, let's not mess that up because the seller had sent me the pictures. And like, as you guys can see, it's super near me. So the reason I actually bought it was because I was like, yo, I want to get this sent off to get it graded. Oh my God, bro. Tell me that's not a beautiful rarity on this Flame Wingman. It's like the metal figure. If you guys, if you guys are hero collectors, it's like the metal figure uh, Flame Wingman, right? But this is a Japanese version, of course. I almost messed that up because this is definitely getting sent out to PSA uh, when they open up and when I send off my submission, this is getting sent to PSA. So uh, yeah, that's the only reason I bought it. He had two and I emailed, I messaged him about it and he sent me like really close up pictures and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna send this out. So I picked this up. Wow. Yo, this looks even better in person actually. I'm actually very excited about this. Oh, I should get a second one for my binder. Well, for now, let's put that to the side. That is our first order. Also again, like I've never, I've never seen these top loaders that open sideways. Is that, is that a thing? I've never seen that before. Anyways, so let's get into our second piece of mail here. This is for Spanko, uh, which is me. That's me, I'm Spanko. Uh, I don't know what's in here either. I feel like I kind of remember. Oh, it's a spell card. Ooh, Ready Fusions. Oh, I do remember these. Okay, hold up. Oh, this they, they got it taped pretty well. Okay, let me see if I can get, I'll get this untaped real quick. Okay, so I do remember what this is. So I ended up getting two Ready Fusions and an Alpha. I actually needed these just to finish up like my collections. Like the Alpha, I needed the secret. I just wanted to pick up Ready Fusions because you know in the future they might be useful. So uh, yeah, actually good thing that these came in now, or a good thing that I'm opening these up because I completely forgot about these. So let's go into the next piece of mail. There's not like no need to talk about the Ready Fusions and stuff too much. But uh, yeah, I'm excited that those are in. I forgot, I completely forgot about those. Okay, what's in here? Oh, oh, okay, I remember who this is from. This is from uh, D-Legend, who's another YouTuber. If you guys want to check him out, I'll put his link in the description below. You guys can also check him out on Instagram. And uh, let me see if I can open this up real quick. There is a few things I actually got from him. And I do remember they were, they, they were OCG stuff. It was OCG stuff that I got from him. I saw it and I was like, you know what, let's pick it up. He gave me a pretty good deal on it, I would say. And yeah, I was like, you know what? I have a submission going, like I have a submission getting ready for PSA and I was like, you know what? I asked him what he honestly thinks. I asked him for videos, for pictures. He was really, he's really, he's a really good seller. He's a really good seller. And uh, he's Canadian too. Okay, so Featherwind he just put in there, but this is the main boy. The ultimate rare UFO Roid fighter from CRV. Of course, it's Korean. This card is beautiful. This is going to be sent out to PSA. Uh, so are these ones. These ones were pretty cheap. That's why I decided to get these as well. Uh, oh, there's a nice hero barrier here. But uh, yeah, the Magma Neos and the evil hero Inferno Wing? That's the name? Inferno Wing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, got, I was going to get these sent out as well. They're all pretty good condition. I should put them in a sleeve, actually. There you go. Everything's sleeved up properly. But yeah, this was the main boy. I really like this. This card looks beautiful. OCG Ultimate Rares are absolutely beautiful. 
So I got this. So this is the hero stuff. I'll put this over here as well for the hero stuff. And I'll put the meta stuff a little bit here to the side. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited to add these just because I do want to play. This I want to play in uh, Sharks, actually. So uh, yeah, I'm happy I got that. Uh, there's two more pieces of mail here. I don't know exactly what's what. But uh, I guess we'll open it. So far, it has been all Yu-Gi-Oh. I, don't, I just don't remember what else I got. It's funny because like I know myself, like when I open them, I'm like, oh yeah, I do remember buying this. But before before I see what I buy, I'm, I'm kind of always like, okay, what's in this one? What's in this one? All right, let me see if I can open this up. This is giving me a pretty hard time. Okay, so I finally got it open. What is in here? I don't want to flip it around yet. I don't want to flip it around yet because there's multiple things in here. What did I order? This is definitely from a Japanese seller. I know you guys didn't see the thing, but I think it's from a Japanese seller, which is really nice. I love, bro, I love dealing with Japanese sellers, by the way. They're, they're so quick and they're so good with their work. Okay, so what is this? Oh, no, whoa, this is not a, wait a, wait a minute. Oh, okay, wait, no, the next one's a Japanese seller. Okay, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, these are cross outs. I did need these. I ordered these a long time ago though. It's funny that I'm just, I didn't even realize I got these in, to be honest with you. I didn't realize I got these in. Uh, yeah, okay, good. We got the cross outs. Again, more meta stuff, as you guys can see. I am both a collector and a meta player, which is very bad because it's very expensive to maintain both. I won't lie to you. All right, so the last one here, this one's from a Japanese seller. For sure, this one's from a Japanese seller. Let me see if I can just open this up real quick because it's really taped up, so I can't really just rip it. Oh, huh, never mind, I just ripped it. Okay, so here... Okay, this one I actually have no idea, though, what I got. Is it this? Oh, oh, this is Digimon. Oh, okay, let me see this. Oh, I think I remember buying these. Actually, I don't, I think I won these on auction for super cheap. I think it was like, <laughs> it's funny because it was like a no reserve auction. And I think I bought each of them for like 10 cents, uh, but it was all from one seller. But like each card was like 10 cents. And I think shipping was like a few, like a few bucks. So I literally ended up paying like five bucks for all of these, which is a really good deal for what they are. But let's see if I can do this without damaging the entire thing. All right, so there we go. Let me pull these out real quick. I love this vintage Digimon stuff. So here we have the Metal Greymon. Beautiful. Okay, I know you guys, whoever's not into Digimon, uh, you guys won't really appreciate this, but I love the old school Digimon stuff. I didn't even plan on doing this. Oh, we got, oh, we got two of them? Okay, so these ones I remember getting. I do not remember getting two of these though. Oh, one's damaged though. Oh, one's damaged. Maybe he threw this one in. I, I literally got these for like 10 cents a piece. So that's why, like I, they're definitely worth way more. I've seen this one, this one's near mint. So this one, um, on eBay seems to be selling for about 20 bucks a pop and literally winning it on auction. I guess nobody saw it, but winning it on auction for 10 cents, I was not going to complain. So this one, I definitely want to put in a sleeve, uh, but actually I'll put it in a sleeve later, but this one's near mint. Beautiful, beautiful card. Actually, uh, the centering is really bad. If the centering wasn't so bad, I'd probably send it off to get graded, to be honest. And like, just leave the damaged one for a binder. Here's the same one, but this one's damaged. Yeah, this one's damaged up. And then we have these two, the wear Gururumon, as well as the metal Gururumon. Again, like I just saw the same seller selling them all. So I was like, you know what? If you can do shipping one time, I'll just pick them all up. 10 cents a pop. I'm not even mad about that. All right. Well, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I would say. All right. That's pretty good. I was not expecting half of this. I forgot about ordering half of this stuff. Is that it? I think that's it for today's video. Just before the video ends, though, I wanted to show you guys something because I don't think I officially showed this off in a uh, video. I did show it off on like my Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram or on Twitter, make sure to follow me there because I post all my stuff early there. But I got this PSA 10 Elemental Hero Neos 20th anniversary. Look how beautiful that is. I don't think I showed this off yet. I'm super happy to add this to my collection. Won it on auction for a really good deal. And I was just super excited to have this. But yeah, I just wanted to add this into the video because the card looks beautiful and I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to show it off. So that is it for today's mail day. I hope you guys did enjoy. I was not expecting the Digimon stuff, to be honest with you. I was like, wait, what is this? And then when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I did order that. A lot of this was very like, oh, I ordered this? Yeah, I guess I did. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy though. Like I said in the video, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection update will be coming out soon. Just be ready for that because it's gonna be hype. Like I was looking at it the other day and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And so some of the updates, some of the things that I added in it, it looks really, really good. And then I got a bunch of other videos that I planned, like I said earlier in the video as well. 2022 is gonna be a good year for us. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, Spanko signing out. Peace.